All right, hello again and welcome to another online session of World at War class. Hopefully you're beginning to think a little bit and kind of see the difference between simply going through the motions that some classrooms might, in, that some classrooms in school might put you through and start to realize that your education is very important and that you can take control of that by thinking at a much deeper, at a level three thinking as Golding said in, in the reading that you, that you read for last time. Today though, I want you to actually, we're gonna actually start talking about a war. Our first war that we're gonna get to is World War I. And so today we're focusing on the causes of World War I. And they go back decades before World War I begins in 1914. So this is what your task is today. First of all, we have uh, a reading on the causes of World War I. So just click on that, read through those, and maybe have that um, handy for you. I would suggest, too, that maybe you have a Word document open or maybe you have your no a notebook right in front of you and you take notes from the reading. And so you can kind of try to figure out what the highlights are, what the important things are. I, I would stress that you try to focus on what the actual causes are. We'll get like half a dozen causes of World War I down on paper and you'll see this in the Prezi as well that I'm going to ask you to do. But simply um, go through the reading go through the Prezi that's also linked below. Um, and the Prezi should be, you just, you just hit play, you, 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 hit, you uh, click on the link, you hit play, and it'll take you through um, my lecture on what the causes of World War I are, were. Um, and so go through those two things. Then I've got a list of questions for you to answer from those things to try to make you focus on what the important things are in both the, the article about the causes of World War I and the Prezi about the causes of World War I. So through those two things, hopefully, you'll have all the answers to what the causes of World War I were and can answer the questions that I have listed for you. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to be talking about the causes of World War II in my live conversation with you. Um, so hopefully, we, you know, we can kind of see some connections between the causes of World War I and the causes of World War II. So get to that, and again, if you have any questions whatsoever about how things work, feel free to email me, drop me a line, or ask Ms. Mrs. Lincoln or the substitute, and uh, we'll get you taken care of. But um, have fun exploring, and I will talk to you next time. Good luck. <laughs>